My name is Hernán Araneda. I've been involved more than 25 years in mining in Chile. In Chile, mining sector is today very important for the country. It, it, it accounts for 50% of our exports. It's around 10% of GDP. We've been producing copper for 100 years. We can continue to do that for another 70 or 80 years, but then it's over. If we want to continue benefiting from mining, uh, we do need as a country to innovate, to improve productivity. Nowadays in Chile, and as in other countries, the sector is facing very, very serious difficulty. You have to go deeper to extract the raw materials. And in so doing, you don't want people working there. You, need to do, you have to do that with technology. Mining companies are not in the uh, business of, in, of innovation. They are now increasingly relying on their suppliers' capability to innovate and to offer to them better solutions. And that's exactly what we would like to happen in the country. So to use mining to develop local suppliers. First lesson that the mining sector is a very sophisticated industry and can be very, very relevant for economic development and social development of a country. Second, for that to happen, you need a very close relationship between the communities and companies and government. Most of the mine sites are very large in the extreme region of the country, in the north, in the Altiplanic region. And in those regions, there are indigenous communities. A significant part of uh, portfolio investment is now stuck because the community isn't happy. We should start talking together in the early days of an investment project in mining, not only when the project is already approved. And third, mining cannot survive without innovation and technology. So mining can be used not only to extract raw materials, but also to sophisticate and to enrich the economies of countries which are very rich in natural resources, but not in technology, for instance.